How important is innovation to GE's success? It's a priority for a company. Uh, when Jeff Emil uh, became a CEO, his first statement was that the only reason to invest in any company in the future will be that company's ability to innovate and differentiate. We invest in technology in a, in a, in a tough time, like now. Uh, we invest it in a good time. The consistency of purpose, understanding where company wants to go, how company wants to be, uh, how company wants to be kind of perceived by our investors, our shareholders, and uh, general public. So we started eco imagination initiative in 2003. Uh, it's a huge success for us. It, it, it's, I think it resonates with, our, with the customers, but more importantly, it resonates well with our employees because we're actually doing something which is great for the world. You know, every product, every new product in energy space, in aviation space, in transportation space, in CNI space, has, has to have a better, is a fuel economy, better for environment, and significantly better and still provide value for our customers. We believe that we, will, we are living in a uh, carbon-constrained world, and it's only gonna be more profound as we're going forward. A and to deal with that, we need to invent new ways of delivering services like electricity to our customers at, at lower carbon footprints. But if you look at the electricity demand of the world, by 2030, it's gonna double. So how do we get there? and mostly going to be driven by developing world. How are we going to get there and still maintain the quality of life of this country and other countries? And it's going to happen through innovation and technology. And our new, innovation, new uh, large initiative coming on board now is what we call health imagination. And it's how do we make healthcare affordable, but at the same time, um, with a great clinical outcomes. It uh, resonates with our customers and it resonates with our employees. And I think it's gonna create great shareholder value in the future. I've been with the company for 31 years. I've never been more excited than today, for example, about what we're doing, what we're gonna be doing, what you're gonna see coming from GE in the future. It's gonna be great products, great services, and uh, hopefully we'll help make this world a better place. As a VP of Advanced Technology for Global Research, what is your role within the company? My responsibility is really to look at uh, what I would call a big bets we make. Uh, and big bets are quite broad. For example, nanotechnology. What does it nanotechnology mean for GE? Sustainable energy, uh, next generation propulsion, and uh, how do we generate more efficient turbines? How, how do we get more out of what we have, so to speak? Uh, next generation of gas gasification technology. How do we burn coal more efficiently? Uh, next generation of high power electronic uh, and uh, organic light emitting diet. So it's a, those are big bets and each one of them has just numerous programs which support that particular bet. So let's say nanotechnology, for example. For us, nanotechnology is not what, it's how. We don't sell nano, but we definitely develop materials and capabilities from uh, bulk materials to coatings to enable next generation of systems uh, for our customers. And uh, when we look at nano, we see a number of spaces where we feel is sweet spot for nanotechnology. Some of them are nano-enabled coatings to enhance heat transfer, to reduce ice formation, to uh, improve uh, life of our parts in a hot, corrosive environment. On the other hand, we found a way to use nanotechnology in a contrast media for imaging inflammations, for imaging um, tumors with nanotechnology, nano-enabled contrast agents. So just within nano, we have a number of activities which kind of aligned with either eco imagination or health imagination. How has your educational experience here at MIT influenced your outlook on what you do and your career experience? I think experience in MIT was kind of unique. It, it really enabled me uh, either through the courses I've been exposed to and the professors I've worked with to really understand uh, the power of cross-disciplinary teams. And I took this to the, you know, my first job, to my second job, and I, I'm taking it very seriously today. I really believe that innovation will occur at the intersection of the discipline. So we can create a team of uh, biologists, 
uh, computer scientists, imaging experts, physicists, mechanical engineer, microfluidics, to work, let's say, on the next generation molecular pathology. Those are very tough problems. Uh, they require a multidisciplinary approach. And being able to create that kind of a teams, it's, it's critical. It's critical for success. Working here at MIT uh, on my you know, a master's thesis uh, really influenced how I think about technology development, how I think about product development, how I think about innovation.